Hello friends, today I have an updated planner slash journal lineup for 2024. Um, I went over my intended plan about a month ago, I believe, when I first got my main planner. Um, and a few things have shifted and I've also been using said main planner for the month of December. And I just thought I would give you guys an updated look at what I'm using this year and a small flip through of what I have already set up and used so far. So a lot of things haven't changed, but a few things have and I thought it would be worth going through because this, as far as I know, is my final, final <laughs> plan for planning in 2024 and journaling. I have my journals here as well. Um, yeah, so I am hoping not to deviate from this and to just be very uh, steadfast and committed to this system because I like the system and um, yeah, let's just get started. So most of these are just like journals. They're not actually things I'm going to be using for planners. These three are the main daily items that I'm going to be using and this one is more of a journal as well. So let's just start with the two planners. So I have here my Wonderland 222 in the B6 size and my Stology B6. So let's start here. Uh, this cover is a Moterm cover in the burnt orange color, I believe is what it's called. This is the B6 Wonderland 222 and this was the wild berry color, I believe, and it is a beautiful um, deep pink color. There's that. This year the cover has like a really nice soft texture. I don't really know how to describe it other than that, um, but it is an all-in-one this year. There are enough pages in the back to do one page per day, which was one of the things that really drew me to this planner was I wanted that flexibility, but now I actually don't think I'm going to use it that way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's funny how things evolve, but yeah, these are my stickers. These are mostly from um, Timu is where I got most of these. Like all of these ones here are from Timu. This one is from Amazon. And then these are just a couple like washi stickers. So yeah, I like those. Okay, so going into it, I'll just give you a little setup flip through. This sticker is from Nicole from Nicole LOL Plans. <laughs> I know that's not how you say her channel name, but that's kind of like how it's written. So it's Nick LOL Plants. Anyways, I'll link her channel down below. I love her. She's awesome. Um, her videos are so inspiring. and I just love listening to her talk about her planners and stuff. So I think that you guys would like it too if you don't follow her already. This is the sticker that came with the Wonderland 2 to do and this was another one from Timu. Then I glued this page together. You can see this is kind of where they're... Uh, logo was just because that first page like it has an awkward gluing to the cardstock and it was just I don't know it was just awkward so I glued it um and then I put a little sticky note dashboard here this I got in happy mail these two are both from Amazon and then these sticky notes were from paper minty studio these were just from Amazon so yeah I just have a few sticky notes like stuck down here so that I can use them throughout the planner as I need to I did a, a little kind of mood board. I wouldn't call it a vision board, but just a mood board um, for just how I guess I want to be feeling this year or how I was feeling in that moment, things that I like. Um, yeah, so I really like that. Then we come to this page. I don't know if I'm going to be tracking anything on here, but I like having the years at a glance. There's 23, 24, 25, and 26. So, okay, so this page I um, had planned to do like cycle tracking and my days off. So that's what I'm using it for so far. Um, I will highlight like cycle days and yeah, I think that'll be good information to see a year at a glance for medical reasons. And then I just took a piece of washi tape and kind of made a tab out of it so that I could have a tab here on this page. This page I'm tracking my steps, workouts, protein intake, and then monthly measurements. I didn't actually do my measurements yet. So um, yeah, at the top here I'm tracking my steps. Uh, the middle is protein, which woefully short of my goal there. 
and then the bottom is calories, and then uh, a colored in circle is if I took my supplements. Uh, empty circle is a workout that's not weightlifting, like sometimes I'll play tennis with my daughter or like some kind of hit workout or whatever. And then the X would be strength training. Um, so that's how I'm using this for now. I might change it in quarter two. I don't know. We'll see how this works for me. Oh, and then these are the main supplements that I'm considering taken if I do that colored in circle. I forgot to do it yesterday, but I'll go fill that in. So that's all the quarterly pages. And then I have, this was just a blank notes page. So I've set up a debt tracker. Right now I have $2,500 in debt. Um, and so I just set these little boxes up as increments of $20. And I'm going to fill in those boxes as I pay towards those debts. Uh, that is part of my main goal this year financially is to pay off all that debt and to not buy any new stationary items until that debt is paid off. There will be a few little exceptions to this. Like yesterday, I bought uh, two sheets of brass shims on Amazon because I'm having issues with flow in one of my fountain pens and I wanted to be able to clean that out. So little things like that, I'm gonna allow myself to buy, but I'm not buying pens, I'm not buying stickers, I'm not buying washi, I'm not buying inks. Um, I'm going to allow myself to swap with people and there is a cost associated with that, which would be the postal so uh, cost, but that I'm not considering like a, an expense. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be tracking my debt payoff there. And I'm excited for that. Like, I'm excited to not have that hanging over my head anymore and really looking forward to just being more mindful and responsible in the future about how I spend on something that is a hobby. Like, I love this hobby. I, I'm so excited about this hobby, but I don't need to be putting myself into debt, like, to support this hobby. You know what I mean? Um, so then here is where the actual trackers start. Um, this was December. I was just kind of trying it out, but January does look much the same. So I have walking, working out, reading and praying, eight hours of sleep, tracking food, laughed and cried because I've been, um, just going through some stuff and I just kind of wanted to see that. But in the middle of the month, I totally like fell off the tracking. <laughs> so that's not an accurate representation. I just didn't track during that time. And then I started again over here. Um, so yeah, and then down here I was doing like my energy level, again, stopped like mid-month and then cycle. So yeah, um, I want to do better with the tracking because I do like tracking. I like seeing the information at the end of the month and I like the daily habit of reminding myself to do what I know that I want to do, what I know that I need to do in order to be healthy and happy and well balanced. Um, this is something that does motivate me to do those things. Some days I will only do those things so that I can check it off. <laughs> and that's just sort of one of my motivations and that's, I like knowing that that's how I work and so I wanna keep doing this. So this month I am going to be tracking walking 9,000 plus steps, but I do aim for 10,000 uh, working out, which would be like a weight workout or tennis or something like that. Uh, read and pray, eight hours of sleep, tracking food, no spend, and that's no spend on stationary, not no spend on anything else. I'm only doing a no spend for stationary strictly. I am trying to be like mindful and wise in other areas of spending as well, but my no spend specifically is for stationary. And then mood, I'm just gonna be putting like a little face. So the first four days of January were really good, and then yesterday I had a major anxiety attack, so that's that face. Um, and then I have, I'm tracking a little bit of cleaning. This is like more than your average cleaning. Like every day, of course, I try to go around and like pick stuff up, but this is like if I clean the whole kitchen, like clean off the stove and like scrub the counters and stuff like that. Um, if I like scrub the shower and then whenever I do the floors and vacuum. So I don't need to be doing those things every day, but I do kind of want to see how often I do them because that's another area where I'd like to be more... Um, just proactive and disciplined uh, and then cycle and then energy again I am doing yesterday you can see it's not a good day 
I am struggling with my energy levels. Uh, no, this has to do with like health issues and just not sleeping. You can see I have not gotten eight hours of sleep since January 1st. So that directly contributes. So I'd like to see, you know, the correlation and like what's going on there. So that is my tracking situation. And so you have like 12 months of the tracking. Then there was a notes page and then the December overview page. On this page, I decided to just put my two words of the year. I couldn't decide on just one for the for a while. It was just going to be heal. And then I also decided that I wanted to include rebuild because I feel like those are two like similar things, but they are distinct from each other. Healing is to become sound or healthy again, to alleviate a person's distress or anguish, and then rebuilding is to build again after being damaged or destroyed, to repair, especially to dismantle and reassemble with new parts, as in the case of a car, um, to replace, re-strengthen, or reinforce, and then to revise, reshape, or reorganize. And I feel like those these are two things that are necessary for me this year. I've gone through a very traumatic last three years, emotionally, mentally, physically, uh, spiritually. <laughs> um, it's just been a hard time. And uh, I want to get back to who I used to be. But I also know that I can never fully go back to that person because I have gone through things since I was that person. So I want to become, you know, I want to heal and I want to rebuild. I want to be stronger. I want to be, you know, the person that I am now that is strong and healthy and whole that has gone through some things that were very hard and has grown and come out the other side of it. So I put those here. Again, these are Paper Minty Studio uh, sticky notes. I don't know if she still sells these. I got these a long time ago, but they're really cute. Um, so that's that page. And then it goes straight into the monthly. So I did use this for December and um, I don't do really extensive tracking in my monthly. Sometimes I used to write my bills in here, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I just don't really find it necessary um, just cause I, I know in my head when my bills are being paid. So I don't know, I might, Who's, who knows? So then it goes straight into the first week of December. Um, I didn't get this planner, I think until, actually, I don't know. I don't remember exactly when I got this. Maybe it was beginning of December, but, Anyways, I kind of had written out like what my uh, what my two planners were going to be and the work one has already changed. So whatever, that's fine. And then I just started planning in here. Um, so for this, I was just intending to use the weekly pages as um, an overview of like appointments or places that I went during the week. Like if I went to Target or if I went to Chipotle with my mom or if I took my daughter somewhere, I was just gonna write that in here. But I then I did start writing all my tasks in here because um, I didn't wanna use up the daily pages cause there's only enough for the year. And so I didn't wanna put December in there and not have enough for 2024. But then I ended up really liking how this looked and how full it was with all my actual just like daily tasks, which I was planning on putting daily tasks on a daily page. But now I think I've changed my mind on that. <clears throat> so yeah, anyways, um, I don't know if you guys want me to say like what inks and stickers these are, but if you see anything and you wanna know where it's from, I will do my best to try and remember where it's from and let you know. Um, <clears throat> This day I ordered the new cream rose gold Twisby. <laughs> um, this day was the paper test notebook release, which I really wanted to get, but uh, the notebook itself was expensive and then shipping to the US was also really expensive. So I didn't end up getting it, but I really love the look of that notebook. It's essentially like a moleskin expanded, like the standard size, uh, but with Tomoe River paper. I really, really, really wanted that notebook. <laughs> but anyways. Um, yeah, so that's the first week. Here was the second week. This was a really pretty ink that I made. It was, um, Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour plus Journalize Tinkerbell. And the Tinkerbell is what gives it that really pretty yellow, sh like, it almost looks like a sheen because the glitter in their formulas is a lot different than other inks. I feel like it's a lot more fine, so it ends up looking kind of like a sheen when you look at it. Anyways, that was a really pretty ink, and I liked that. And then this week, 
<clears throat> we were fostering a dog, but he ended up being really aggressive, so I had to take him back, so that sucked. Stuff, but I do like the way the week looks filled out with all the tasks. This week, I started to do daily pages, so I didn't fill in as many of the tasks, and I just, I mean, I like the way it's decorated. I think it's cute, but I like the look of the fuller week with, like, all the tasks written in there better than this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to, well, I'll get there when I get there. But yeah, these are all Happy Planner stickers and they're really cute. Um, then this one, I decided to use, they, each month has a review page and an overview page for the upcoming month. I decide, I don't know if I'm going to use these for what they're intended for. Um, but anyways, for this page in particular, I decided to put inks that I want to purchase uh, full bottles of whenever I am purchasing again. I figured that having a list of what I want to buy will help me to kind of stave off the impulsive need to buy right now. Um, and then it will also give me time to consider like, do I really want to get a bottle of this ink? And, you know, am I really like, did I really use it enough to the point where I will use a full bottle of it? So that's that. And then notebooks to try for next journals. Um, that is another thing that I'm going to allow myself to buy when I'm done with a journal. I will repurchase another journal. And uh, so I want to try Planner Monkey Co. notebooks, the Wonderland 222 notebooks, not their planners. They have notebooks. And then I was even thinking of maybe like getting a Hobonichi and using it just as a journal um, and not like paying attention to the dates just because there's something about that paper that I don't know. I swear it's different than any other Tomoy River paper. This is Tomoy River paper. I like it, but it's not as smooth or as soft. I don't know. Everybody tells me I'm crazy and that, um, that can't be true because they all get it from the same place, but I'm telling you, I feel a difference. <laughs> So I really like the Hobonichi books themselves. So I might get like a Hobonichi book for my next journal. And then for January, I um, need to, I put just two things that I need to do. And this cute sticker is from a simple stories book that I got on scrapbook.com. So then here is the January um, monthly. These are all happy planner stickers. And then here is this week. So these are all Happy Planner stickers. And then this one, this one, those are um, Paper Minty Studio. And then these ones right here, these teal looking ones and that little clock, those are from this uh, Passion Planner book, which I am loving this book right now. I'm using it so much. So yeah, that's that. These clips are from Joann's. They are... I forget what line they are, but it's a, an American Crafts line, and it came in a pack of four. They're really cute. These paper clips are from Amazon. And then, yeah, so that's where we are so far in the weeklies. And then if you go to the dailies, I started the dailies with my December Currently Inked. Then I did a list of just meal planning and grocery list. The first daily I did in here was the 23rd of December. And then um, I waited and then I did another one on Christmas. And then on this day, it was the day after Christmas and then the day after that. And I didn't, I was like, why am I using a whole day for each of these a whole page per each of these because obviously like I'm not writing a lot then this week I did a day or two days on a page these are happy planner stickers but this was kind of like the time that I realized like I don't know if I want to use these for dailies I don't think it looks as cute here as it does like just in the weekly filled out um I don't know I just kind of like this better than this um so then I just use this page for kind of a little bit of journaling. And then um, I use this for two days of tasks. And I was like, I'm going to try and track my energy levels throughout the day because I notice a very consistent pattern in my energy levels throughout the day. So I did that there. Um, and then another meal planning list, another uh, video ideas list because I asked you guys like what you would want to see and I thought maybe I'll do like a Q&A type video where I combine all of these. 
So that's that. So now I'm thinking that I might just use the daily pages for random notes pages, for commonplace things, um, for meal planning lists or grocery lists, and not use them for a page per day of dailies. Um, just because I'm doing that in my weekly. And then I also got the Hobonichi A6 to kind of memory keep for my days, which I'll show you in a moment. So yeah, I am loving this. I am so happy with it. I am really liking the whole system and how it's working for me. I'm enjoying being in it every day. So yeah, I'm really excited about that one. And this video is already at 20 minutes. Holy cow. Okay, so then this was is my work planner. Um, you might remember in my last video, I was going to try using the Happy Planner mini dashboard, but that just didn't end up being enough space for me. So Kim from ADH Done in our recent ink swap sent me this, which was so kind and so generous because she knows I love these. Um, and I'm just so thankful for that. Anyways, I put some stickers on it. Again, these are all from Timu. So I have a little title page here. And then I have a little, just whatever, like just a page there because it's like the first page that's weird. So, and then I'm going to be setting it up as this type of weekly dashboard. This is what the Aura Estel Weeks had that I used last year for work. And I really like this style um, much better than like a horizontal or a vertical. Um, so that's that. And then I will do daily pages and or notes pages so this is just a notes page um and then this is where the daily pages started so i just decorated those and um here's another notes page this is from that same set of bow clips and then i did like a little washi type um tab there so that I could go back to this because I'm going to need to refer to that page. So that's it. I've only been in it for this week, but I love this. Um, here's my little coffee stickers from Kim. Um, I love this size of book. I love the bullet journaling style. And I think that this is really going to work for me for work because I like that I can set up one page, one daily page at a time. I don't need to go that far in advance. Um, I don't need to do my weeks or months in advance either because I have that information on my work like Outlook calendar and then I can just fill this in for daily tasks and then any notes pages that I want to take, I can put those in whenever I need them. So I'm loving, loving that. Okay, then this was kind of like a impromptu thing. <laughs> I bought this before the end of the new year so that doesn't count as breaking my no buy. <laughs> or before the end of the last year, I mean. Um, and I already had this Moterm cover, which is the like mustard A6 cover. So uh, yeah, I basically got so inspired and so enthralled by watching everyone's Hobonichi flip throughs from last year. And one girl that I saw, she did an overview of her 2023 by going through her journal and like, going through each page and writing down like the major things that had happened that month. And then she wrote down all the major things that had happened for each of the months. And I thought like, I have no way to do that because I was in so many books last year and I didn't have a specific memory keeping place. I had journals, but they were like, it would have been way too hard to go through them all. So I was like, I really want something that I can go through and just quickly see an overview of what I did every day, the little things, the big things, whatever happened that day. I just want to be able to keep that in one spot. So I got the Hobonichi original and I have the Asics like clear cover on it. These stickers are both from Amazon and I love the way that cover looks. I just love that so much. Then I put a piece of scrapbook paper here, added some washi, added some stickers. Like I just kind of want to like have this energy this year of like joyfulness and happiness and fun. And I love this paper, but then I also have like these two bird stickers. I love birds. I have a thing for birds. I don't know why, but that's that. And then here I was just going through my scrapbooking or not my scrapbooking, but my ephemera kind of stash. And I found this from a magazine. So I glued this in here, got this coffee sticker. I'm not going to use this. I don't think this, I saw Julie's plans did a mood tracker in her Hobonichi that she just highlighted the whole day with a specific highlighter color. And her, she had a little key at the bottom of what each color meant. And I think I might do that in here. I like that idea a lot. And I liked the way hers looked, you know, um, so far from what she had filled in. 
Um, so I think I might use this for that because I don't know what else I would use this for other than maybe indexing, but okay. So then for the monthlies, I'm going to do a sort of like one thing from that day or maybe two, three, two or three things in these cases. Um, that's like a high overview. And then when I would go to that daily page, I would see like that was talked about as well. So I've started that already. Um, these are from Illustrated Faith. Um, this was like a, it's more of like a cardstock sticker. Okay, so that's all those. And then when we get to the turning the page to a new year, I put my words of the year again in here. I love this washi tape. It's from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then we go into January 1st. So I actually went to Target with my sister this day and I got a new purse. I'm not like a purse buyer, but my old purse was like, like frayed and falling apart. So I was like, I need a new purse. So it just felt so like symbolic new purse on the first day of the new year. And it's a new day brand. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to put that in here because I just thought that's too poetic not to include. Um, so yeah, I just wrote about what we did that day and decorated it with a couple stickers. And that is the vibe that I'm just gonna be going for with this throughout the, the year. Either like bullet points or little like um, paragraph style, I guess. Um, and yeah, so that way I can go back and see what exactly happened that day. And then I also thought it might be fun, you know how Spotify does like day lists and then it changes in the afternoon and then it changes in the evening and they give it these like really weird, like funny names. So I thought maybe I'll like start putting in like certain day lists that I liked or the, the names that I thought were funny. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. This was yesterday or not yesterday. This was the day before yesterday. Um... And then this was yesterday. I had such a bad anxiety attack yesterday. Oh my gosh. I know what triggered it. Unavoidable. Um, but it was kind of like weird because it kind of knocked me out for the whole day. And I've never really experienced that before. I think it was just like all the like adrenaline and cortisol. And then like I hadn't slept well. So that just kind of like made my body just freak out. And then I got a migraine so I left work early, laid in bed all day. Yesterday was just horrible, but I did end up reading a book. I started at like 8 p.m. and I finished it at 2 a.m. <laughs> so that was one good thing, I guess. But this is the kind of stuff that I want to see. I want to be able to see like what was my life like this year. So that's how I'm going to use this. And I am so excited about it. I'm like really, really happy with this edition. And okay, then um, I talked about this in my last video that I didn't know what I was going to do with this. I am going to be using this for an ink journal. This is from Goulet Pens. This is the A6 uh, compact sterling ink with the black cover. I really do like this cover a lot. I might have used this planner for like sort of what I'm using for the Hobonichi, but it doesn't have a page per day. So I decided to use it for an ink journal. So this was my currently inked in December. Um, this has been my evolution in January so far. I've already inked up and uninked a bunch of pens <laughs> and I haven't even filled my currently inked yet. So that's what I'm going to be using the monthlies for. And then the weeklies, I was thinking I would write, you know, in here a little bit each day of like what pen and ink I use that day, maybe in my planner. And then back here in the notes pages, I thought I would just, um, do little notes about pens that I inked up or uninked and why I did that. Like this one is CRO Pilot of Rochazuko with um, Shimmer. It's so, so pretty, but it keeps clogging in my Twisby Diamond with a medium nib. And I think it's the type of shimmer in here. Um, but I keep trying to figure out ways to help it not do that because I really love the color of this ink. Like, look at that shimmer. It's so pretty. Um... This is a new ink that I got. I'm going to do a video on this ink call. I got this before the end of the year, and that was my last Van Ness ink call prior to my no buy. But it is so gorgeous. Um, I switched out <laughs> this ink. I'm like, I'm uninking this, and it's not even the 3rd of January yet. 
Um, then this ink was another new ink that I had gotten. It's Vinta Night Sky, and it is so gorgeous, but it also keeps clogging up my medium twist B, which those pens can take a lot of shimmer. So I'm surprised that these two are doing that, and I'm not really sure like what it is about them. This one, I can see it like clogging up the pen, so that sucks. But um, yeah, so I had to put the... I had to put this in another pen and then I inked up something else. So those are the kind of notes that I'm going to be putting in here. I think it'll just be fun and interesting and another way to use my pens. So this is my uh, Leuch term. That's going to be my first journal of the year. I am loving this so far. I have done a little collage in the beginning and then a title page in here. I will put several things, commonplace things, ink things. Like I love writing my currently inked in every notebook that I have just because it's a fun way to use my pens. But then I'll also do like long form journaling, um, lists, ideas, commonplacing. Um, so like this, I did things that I'm loving right now. Um, yesterday I was talking about my anxiety. Um, this was a list of journaling prompts that I went through like pages I had or screenshots I had saved on my phone. Plus then I went into Pinterest and just looked up journaling prompts and I just wrote down the ones that I would like to do. So you can screenshot this if you would like to do any of these. This says, where would you want to travel or where would you like to travel? But I smeared it obviously. Um, so yeah, uh, this like this is just kind of like about our day so this is like most of the journaling that I do just going in and like talking more in depth about my day other than what I would put in my Hobonichi um this is my revised planner lineup that we're talking about now YouTube videos to be filmed this night I could not sleep so I just wrote this down um these are my 2024 goals so if you're interested you can Sorry, I keep moving that. If you're interested, you can uh, read those. Um, so that's that. I'm loving that. And then lastly, I have my two kind of ink journals. This is my transcription journal. And this is just, it was a bullet journal that I then turned into an ink journal. And I'm kind of bummed that I did that, honestly, because when I look through this ink journal or this bullet journal part like I think it looks so cute and aesthetic and I just really like the way that I did that and I kind of wish that I had kept going with it but that's okay I can always do it again if I feel like it but um yeah so then it started turning into an ink journal and I can do a more in-depth flip through of this because somebody asked to see a flip through, but literally this, this is kind of like how I mix my ink sometimes. <laughs> and a lot of these pages are just that. So I don't know that it's like super interesting to look at, but I will do a flip through of that. And then I also started to swatch all my inks and group them by color family. Um, this was the um, ink swap with Nicole Plans. That's her screen name. Um, and then, so I have my other ink swaps in here and yeah, so I will do a flip through of that, but that's one of my ink journals. And then this is my transcription journal and I can also do a flip through of this one. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Um, I think it, like for me, I would imagine that it would be boring for you guys to watch, but I guess I can go through and kind of like talk about each ink if you'd like. Let, just let me know if that's something that you would like to see. But this is my transcription journal or notebook. And I'm loving transcribing and using my pens and reading that book at the same time. So that is everything. Yay. What did you guys think? Um, again, I'm just loving everyone's videos. So I'm watching them every day and... I just think this community is so cool. So have a great day, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful and blessed 2024.